cut. All right, let's uh, go see what we're doing today. It's 10 o'clock already. Derek's got time to start filming me now. My day started at five, so we'll see. But uh, I got some guys working down in Boscobel. I got some guys over working in Livingston. The mowing crew's trying to get caught up. It just rained the last two days. Probably got three, four inches of rain. So mowers are struggling. They're kind of behind the ball a little bit, which is to be expected, but uh, we better go check on the landscapers and see how they're doing, because the last two days they really haven't done much. Just yeah. clean your truck there, Caleb? Yeah, I clean my truck. It's important. Just cleaned it this morning. Drove around in the rain for two days. Looks like a pile of shit. And I don't care what anybody says, but uh, owning a business, you should have a clean truck, clean vehicle. I know some guys will argue with you and say a vehicle don't matter and blah, 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 but trust me, all the years I've been doing business, I've always had people say, nice truck. And I think it shows that uh, shows that I give a shit and uh, take care of my stuff. Welcome to the gazebo apartments. I've honestly never been here so uh, sales guy met with this met with these people I don't know a month ago and uh, sold them on the job and sounds like it's a pretty decent sized job so I have no idea what's going on. I'm just showing up and I'm gonna pretend like I know what's going on and make sure everybody's doing their job. And of course, hey, look at that. Hunter's in the mini loader, that's weird. So it looks like they're tearing out rock beds. Chris, you want me to grab a shovel there? Or? You want a shovel? I can't do any physical work, you know that. No. Cause I'm a wimp. A wimp? Not like Hunter though. What? Hunter, you're a strong, strapping young man and you do great work. Especially when you're in the mini loader for seven out of eight hours of the day. <laughs> hey, Allie. Um. We'll just take a quick look. Yep. Already. <laughs> Forgot my gloves today. Oh, I'm just standing here looking busy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what are we doing? Just these two? Yeah. This is all what? Clean stone? Yep. Got it over there. Is there a bunch of plants you ripped out or what? No, they ripped them. They're already out. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah so you should be able to have all this out and both of the beds like set the grade and ready to go by yeah. the end of today, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, over there it's just they're just running. Shit through there so they And they can't do that till next week. Yeah, they see, they can't till next week. Do we got a place to dump close or we're dump we we if we get all we're getting to that so good. They said it's fine. So tomorrow we could finish this whole side? Yeah. Put the plants in. Oh god. And some of these roots are gonna be a problem. Yeah, we we're cutting them out as we go. Oh okay. How many plants are going in this site? A lot. Give me your count. I'm just wondering if we should just wait. Well, I'll get a post hole digger or something. Or I think the tree or whatever is going like here or something. They just want them dug in, and then at the end, it's just to end at that, like area right underneath it. I don't really think I want to do that. That's what they said. He said. Huh. Seems odd. Yeah. It's not really draining. I mean, I guess if that's what they want, that's a lot of water to go to a tree. Yeah, there's, there's gonna be four of them trees, or, but one here, one there, one there, one there. And then they wanted that. He asked if we could do something about over underneath the power. And that's why I called you because we put something there. Yeah, just so it's not so steep. But we can't do that until they're gonna run their thing. Probably gonna want limestone, I'm assuming, yeah. since there's already giant rocks here. Yeah. 
Oh okay. yeah. But I figured we had there's a bunch of them little ones up there. Yeah, we could figure something out. That's he's what here. I would do. Yeah, he's here. Just take the cutter off and then it waters all the plants. And I gotta move there's some two big rocks on that side. I gotta move. Okay. And he said if they break, they break. If they don't, they don't. Okay. Because I gotta move them back and then we'll have to up where they were again. Okay. Just because they gotta get their country through there. Yeah. Okay. I won't put the Edit first two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. What's your favorite cereal in the morning, Chris? Uh, cinnamon toast crunch. What's yours? I'm a fruity pebbles guy. Yeah. I don't like how soggy they get so quick. You gotta eat them quicker. Got it quicker than that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. You want me to get my hands dirty? Is that a root or a wire? A wire. Oh. Is that too? Is that a ground wire for something? Oh. Pretty easy job here. Pretty straightforward. Rip off the rock and clean up the beds and put in new rocks. These guys are pretty good at it. We do a lot of it. It's not fun, but we do it. They make a vacuum for this. A giant vacuum that sucks up this rock, but it's kind of pricey. I don't know. It'd be really nice today. I suppose I probably should at least call and see how much I'd be to rent one, but we just do it the old fashioned way, you know. Looks like they're all doing a good job. Hey, I, had it, I had it even placed, they, they screwed it up, look at that. They put it in there crooked for you? Yep. Hey, it doesn't do you. Did you find them on Craigslist or what? Maybe they put a left left one on your right I leg or know, something. I they, they just pissed me off. Hmm. <laughs> what did I do about it? Nothing. Yeah, I've actually heard of people having issues like that. They say it's either really good or really bad. Oh yeah, I've heard that too, yeah. We can go back same way. We can go back to you. I don't think. I think we're just doing the front. Just doing the front? Pretty sure. Yeah. That'd be cheap to We're doing the back too. Yeah, we probably charge too much. <laughs> well, what do you think? You're going to keep an eye on them for us today? or? <laughs> I'm not gonna be around here. I'm gonna go back when it's warmer. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a little chilly. It is. It's cool. Well, you have a good day. Yeah. Thanks for stopping. Thank you. See ya. I think I should tell these guys that they're getting a uh, prevailing wage on this or no? No, you just pocket that. <laughs> no, you gotta pay it to them. <laughs> you can't just pocket that. <laughs> But I feel like if I told them now, they'd be in a better mood all day. They get more done. They get more done? Well, I don't know. They're getting paid more per hour. I get less done. Yeah. What do you think down in the comments there, guys? Do we tell them they're getting prevailing wage, or do I wait till it's done and then tell them? They're all doing a good job. I think we wait a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much crushing it yeah. right now. They just started this morning? Yeah. Yeah. It's a slow process. Dude, just so you guys all know, this is a job for the state. So you guys all get prevailing wage, which is like 28 bucks an hour, I think. So. Sweet. So, just so you know. Make Even D-Rock? Extra money. No, not. I told them we should all the extra wages we should give to the mowing crew for all the high yeah. remarks they've been getting. Yeah. What do you think, Chris? I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Try and give them a little boost, you know what I mean? If we start paying them more, they'll be doing better jobs. Yeah, Is that how that works? Yeah, I don't, think I don't so. own a business. Is that how that works? I don't think that's <laughs> how that works. Oh, we're good references. 28 <laughs> bucks an hour, so milk it out. Get this side done, I think we're going to take some lunch. Stay on the clock. 
As long as you're eating it here, you're on the job, so. What's up, Hunter? Yeah, well, let's get the hell out of here. These guys are doing just fine. I really don't need to babysit these guys, especially on a job like this. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So, plus if I'm down here, then we got to give me prevailing wage. So, you know, and I don't pay myself shit, so. Where I worry is if you get to this guy's place and his driveway is like, if you're backing uphill, mm -hmm. then that dump bed's gonna have a hard time dumping. You should be able to get it, just make sure you got a shovel with you. You know, you might have to shovel out a wheelbarrow worst case scenario mm -hmm. or if that battery's low then it won't you know so take it clean first yeah at least then you know what you're getting into and if it's a weird situation or something and then worst case we could take the dump trailer you know okay. for the sand but we shouldn't have to so but yeah you could do those two deliveries and then uh see if i got anything else for you probably figure something out what do you don't? What do you want? God, my mustache is beautiful. Mm. Oh, I'm just stressing out. So that concrete patio job we got in Platteville, um, it's really nice high-end concrete patio and it's a stamped and colored. So there's no way we have the time and I certainly don't have the guys to be doing stamped patios. So I normally sub those pretty patios out. So we got it all prepped and ready to go. Um, and then I have the subcontractor come in and uh, do the finish work. So, but we're having a hard time lining up our schedules right now because obviously he's busy, I'm busy. And it's been raining for two days, so everybody's Everybody's going crazy, but I got the concrete ordered for tomorrow and I got tech going to do a couple little deliveries and you and I got to go outside and see what we finally got in the parking lot. You're not going to believe what's out there. Let's go show them Derek. It's super exciting. Check it out, Derek. Look at what we got back. Finally, nine weeks nine weeks they had it i don't even know what to think about it but i don't even care it's back we're using it put the damn thing to work so nine weeks they rebuilt the pusher axles all the bushings and uh new kingpins in there and they did run into some issues somebody welded the kingpins in and it was kind of all cobbled but uh whatever it's back now we finally got the almighty quad axle back in action. And uh, Derek, do you have any idea why they call this quad axle? It says four axles. Yeah, but count them, it's got five. One of them's not being used. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go haul some rock. This truck takes a little while because it's got air rides, so it takes a while to fill up all the airbags and blah, blah, blah. But I've been running it the last couple days and I absolutely love this truck. It just it runs excellent. It's mechanically sound. It's just an all-around really good truck. Everything's tight. It's very good. Uh, it does need a new hood. So if anybody out there in the comments put down there, I need a new T800 hood. This is all busted. It's all busted, but uh, you know. Someday we'll get there, we'll put a new hood on it. We're gonna paint the bed green, paint the fenders green, get her to match the old single axle here behind you. We'll have a matching pair. So, not really a big fan of the red, but like I said, this is, for a dump truck in Wisconsin, this is about the perfect setup here. So let's, uh, we gotta go haul a load of gravel over to Sean. I think he spread spread out 12 loads of gravel this morning so far. So I gotta haul about eight more to him. So let's go see how he's doing. I hear an air leak. That's not good. God damn it. 
it. Just got done telling this truck how good it was. Now I can hear an air leak, so let's raise the bed up and see where it's leaking. No, I think we're good. This is some leveling valves. Good job, you gotta figure it out, Derek. <laughs> it's the leveling valve. Yeah, it's the level. That's what I was gonna say is the leveling valves. That's why I've dealt with this issue tons of times on these types of trucks. Oh, I'm so sick of driving truck. I didn't even go to the parking lot yet. Well, I had to go up to the park went up there for an hour and my youngest daughter they're having their last day of school party or whatever up at the park so went up there and had lunch with her and uh, now it's time to get back to work Tex caught up on his lawns which is really good John and Eric are still a little bit behind but and then we got Sean over here spreading gravel so Check out the new radio I put in, Derek. Well, technically Hunter put it in, but that's what you call a $30 Amazon special right there, man. Those radios back in our day, Derek, those things were probably $250, bucks, were not they? Easy. $250, two, two $300. Bucks, I don't know. It could be $500. And then we put some new speakers up here. And there's a bunch of mice living up here, so we vacuumed all that out. So pretty much this truck's ready to go. The only thing left to fix would be the air conditioning. It gets a little hot in here, especially Bob. We don't need Bob in here. There's nuts sweating all over the floor. So, but other than that, this truck's ready to rock. Just gave her a DOT inspection. She got all new tires on it. Pusher axles are rebuilt. She had, she's ready to make money. Use a window thing over here. Yeah, that's the buttons up here, down there. Then he can't hear nothing with the camera. The jake break. <laughs> that's with a muffler. When I bought it, it didn't even have a muffler on there. Couldn't hear nothing. strong straight line winds or a small tornado that went through here last night up here at the cemetery there's all kinds of tin and trees down and a little bit of a mess to clean up when i came through here this morning this was all full of fucking shed down there it took a little beat too weather got a little spicy last night here in uh, southwest wisconsin but didn't really get much at my house or the shop so i can't complain i had a guy uh driving this truck for me last weekend also and uh he used to work for me good kid he's had his cdl for about a year now and uh, he's the one that, when he got his CDL, he came back to the shop and uh, literally backed into one of my dump trucks the day he got it. So, uh, long story short, he's working for someone else now and uh, said he could help home Fridays or Saturdays, whatever. So I said, sure. And uh, we never really talked about pay, but when he left, he was making 22. And uh, he 
sent his hours in and he says 30 bucks an hour. He didn't ask. He didn't talk, communicate. He just said 30 bucks an hour. So the girls in the office called me and they're like, what the heck's going on here? And, uh, I said, there ain't no way I'm paying him 30 bucks an hour. Pay him 25. He's just helping us out. And uh, he emailed back and said, if I ain't getting 30, I ain't doing it no more. I know what I'm worth. Really good kid. Uh, he likes to work. He likes to make money. But he needs a goddamn skid loader to carry his head around because he's just, he thinks he knows everything, thinks he can do everything, you know. It, it's like the day he got his CDL come back, backed into my dump truck, you know, on this last Friday when he was driving this truck. When he was leaving the shop, he couldn't get it into gear to save his life. And he said it was because I made him nervous. I don't know. And then... I went to haul some dirt and he had a bunch of uh, rock dumped right in my uh, tarp on this. So when I rolled the tarp back over the screen dirt, a bunch of fucking rock fell in the dirt. So if you're going to tell me you're worth 30 bucks an hour, boy, you better be damn good. But only having a year's experience trucking, you're not getting 30 bucks an hour. There's no way. I don't care. Paid employee. Yeah, he's making more more money than anybody else that works for him. He's the man. I don't even make thirty bucks an hour. My sales guy doesn't make thirty bucks an hour. He's close, but he doesn't make it. And you're telling me the kid that's had his CDL for a year and is almighty super trucker, I can do everything. Bullshit. Some of these kids these days, they just piss me off. Derek, you only make, what do you make, 11? 11 and a quarter now, I think. You gave me a quarter raise, I'm 11.50. Yeah, 11, 11.50. I mean, Derek's doing really good. But all he has to do is follow me around and edit videos, you know. So this guy's kind of picky, he's like me. He likes his parking lot nice and clean and not, not all greasy and shit, so. We got about 14 loads here now. We need to haul about six or eight more and get this all cleaned up. Right now I just have Sean down there just rough grading. He's just spreading the gravel out to kind of let it dry out. And uh, once we get them all spread out, then I will put the grading attachment on and uh, get her all dialed in. Looks like Sean's doing a pretty good job. I've never really sent Sean on a skid loader project before so I didn't know what I was really getting into. But. How's it going? Tough old day, gotta drive brand new skid loader around. Ugh. Could be down could be down there digging out rock with Holly, Chris, and Hunter. He's got the gravy job today. He's not getting prevailing wage though, so whatever. You know what that is? I don't need to know. Okay. <laughs> I didn't get it either. I was there. <laughs> Fuck I ain't even getting it, so whatever. Should be enough down there, ain't there? Yeah, I put it pretty thick. Yeah. No, that's fine. Time. That's what he wants. He wants it nice. Kind of like our parking lot at the shop. And then, you know, once you get it all done, then I'll fine grade it with that. And then we'll send the roller back and compact it all. So that was, how many were down there? You had 11 here total. That was 12. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is 12. Okay. So there's 12 here, and then there's two loads of breaker over there. So let's see, 12. So. wants to get close to 20 so so we're gonna he can put around pretty thick 
even through here you know and when you do this try to keep the high the center high so the water sheds off both ways you know i'll go get you another load it should be pretty easy whatever you do it up the driveway right here to the house yeah. probably do that last and then you can spread those two loads of rager over there too it looks like he just wants to level that driveway up over Turn there on the corner here, you yeah you'll see it it kind of dives off he probably just wants to widen it out and bring it up a little bit so it's not so crazy over there so and then we put this on top or just leave a breaker so we'll put breaker down we'll pack it in good with that and then we'll put this over it so this will be nice once it's all done turns into a mud hole and then he's got a wheel skid loader and every time he comes out here he spins around and makes it a mess so gotta show him what a three point turn is all right let's go get another load hey sean give me some yeah buddy what are you getting a shot of me getting in this big truck here we'll put it in slow-mo You just gonna leave me? Alright, breaker breaker, let's go get in our load. Another load. Only six more to go there, sleepy. Just driving in circles, need six more bubblers. That's, you want you said you want drama in these videos that we could walk over we could walk yeah, across walk the street there and, and go be like find hey it. you want to be in our videos <laughs> i just want to put up a 14 foot tall fence why not you got cheap labor yeah but you know my daughters run back and forth so you know you could make nice little door doors for them to come through <laughs> hinge doors like a cat what did you do, wash her again or what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, twice a day. Check out the old uh, Vivor backpack sprayer, boys. So I usually, when I buy stuff, I usually buy top-notch name brand, best thing you can buy, but tell you what, for 80 bucks, we're, we're gonna try it. I don't know. She's definitely uh, China, but I don't know. We're gonna give her a shot. You gonna give that to Dan the sprayer man or what's yeah, that? Yeah, so Dan needs one and the mowing crew needs one. Just put some uh, weed killer in them so they can spray when they're mowing. Yeah, I don't know. It looks like a cheap piece of shit, but we're gonna try it out. I don't know. You want me to come in with you or? Okay. So everything's going pretty good actually. Uh, other than the couple of rain days we had, but everything's back on track now. We got, we got the concrete crew going tomorrow. Landscaping crew going. Gravel crew going, mowing crew going, spraying crew going, everything's going pretty good. So um, I do see we are at almost 25,000 subscribers. Holy shit, Derek. How did we do that? We must be doing something right. But uh, I think we're going to give away a couple hats to you guys. So I don't know. First, what do you think, Derek? First, how many people that comment? How many people? First, 
The, just the first? Yeah, the first five or first ten or... First two. First two? You don't want to give away... Oh, are we going to do a random? No, we're going to give away... You want to give away ten hats? We've got eleven in the shop. There's more than eleven, you dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First uh, ten people to comment and say 25,000. We're going to send you a hat. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Beep. You put her in neutral down a hill, I can do her. Yeah. That's, that'd be scary. <laughs> we'll cut that out, but.